hey guys welcome back to my channel um i just want to have an amazing video with you today um so we're just going to talk about literally graduating during lockdown for those of you who are probably going to notice my hair dripping a little bit it's because i just washed it so don't come at me but yeah um i want to talk about like how difficult it was to like go to uni during lockdown graduate during lockdown everything during lockdown it was crazy so i'm gonna get straight into it um i remember i think it was in march at some point in march was like the last time i went to uni and i remember the the day that i was there i think the day after that that's when they were starting to close the library so i literally had to take the books out on that day like all of the books that i was going to be using for my dissertation and can you imagine i had only figured out exactly what my topic was i think at some point in february if i'm not mistaken so literally this is me trying to figure out what i'm doing of course my interviews were done so i did um social sciences and um i was doing my dissertation on um i was doing my dissertation on social media that's it <laughs> on social media and obviously there's not too much written about you know social media like effects of social media on young people um and stuff like that there is not that much like information so it was really difficult but i just want to literally acknowledge how amazing like a support system i had during that time oh my god literally my mom was amazing and she was really there for me like the people around me were really encouraging me and helping me so much and literally i just want to say thank you so much because i know i wouldn't have been able to do it without you but like literally if you are in uni right now just understand that it's not like it's not about how difficult like your topic is or your subject is or anything it's literally about what you put around you so if you put the right people around you if you put the right mindset around you like plan out every single thing like i'm gonna go through like a whole video where i literally tell you how to plan out your dissertation like because trust me that is the best method that i've ever ever heard of and my mom helped me like do all of that and it was a1 i'm telling you with this whole dissertation thing for those of you going through that if you don't plan it and you don't plan every day what you're doing every single day it's not gonna work and if you don't do it from the beginning like literally starting from the very very beginning like introduction going down 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 to the end and you start doing things like in between oh you're gonna mess yourself up so i'm gonna do a whole video on that like telling you how to plan out like, your dissertation like how to use your calendar how to set it all up because oh that probably was 80 percent the best decision like the, the the thing that saved my dissertation i'm telling you and also using grammarly i used to knock it until i tried it then i figured all my days if i used grammarly from first year it would have just been a breeze like so much easier like the whole degree would have been so much easier of course it's just editing your your writing your work but people actually get lower marks based on their grammar and people don't realize that that is a big part it can change your grade from being a c minus to actually being like a high c or from being like a low b like seriously so yeah last year in lockdown was difficult like i remember every single day i used to wake up at like eight o'clock eight or nine o'clock then I used to end the day around like 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. So literally, it was like a job. Like, literally, it was like a job. And my friend Tashi, we were going through it together. Like, we were, <laughs> we were struggling together. But at the same time, we were supporting each other. And that's so important, guys. Like, if you decide to go to uni, decide to go to uni because you want to get a degree. Don't go to uni for uni life. Don't go to uni for, like, the vibes. Because as you can see with lockdown, there's no vibing you're doing. <laughs> you will have to do your work so literally like go to uni because you like your topic as well your subject pick your own degree please can y'all hear it in the back can you hear it in the back pick your own degree don't let i'm sorry to, to say but if your parents pick your degree or your family pick your degree you're not going to enjoy your degree if you don't like your degree meaning you're not going to pass it well 
unless you even fail it you need to decide your own degree do you understand and research that degree girl research that degree boy you need to research it properly don't play with yourself three years or four years is not a joke because with some degrees you don't have an option you have to do a foundation year so you're doing foundation year first year second year third year and you're still there and you don't like it you will just cry every day you'll be crying but let me tell you another thing about crying though crying helps you can't lie you need to have some crying sessions by yourself sometimes you need to just sit down and say okay we're gonna take 10 minutes to just cry let's just sit down and cry okay we're back cool let's keep it moving and the moment you do that it releases so much stress like and so much tension when you start doing your work it's so much easier it starts flowing and i don't know about you guys but i'm like a visual learner so i don't i, I read books obviously but what i do first is i will go on youtube look for the topic see what i need to talk about like people that have done the topic before and understand their con like the breakdown of concepts on there so of course mine was you know coursework based degree mainly probably had like one or two exams if that but mainly coursework like three thousand word four thousand word dissertation was 10k ten thousand words Oof. but let me tell you though like as much as it was a lot i think literally if you just sit down with yourself before you go okay think about your skills think about the things you love like in your daily life what are you like what's your personality what do you actually like doing every day you'll find oh, okay i love to be on youtube or um i love to give advice or i love to do this i love to do that then you can see okay what careers involve my skills what careers involve what i love counseling counseling okay cool what degrees are there what kind of learner am i my visual do i like exams do i like coursework and literally there are certain degrees like the majority of degrees you can actually see the module like breakdown and it will show you that okay cool this degree has five exams this degree has 10 pieces of coursework this is more exam based or more coursework based or just coursework um just exam based or whatever it is and literally make your life easier don't go into this place you know you hate exams you don't even check nothing you're just like oh i like this i like psychology i'm doing psychology you don't know what you're going to be studying you don't know the like even shows you sometimes that like, if you ask for them they'll show you the books you need the reading list so you see am i able to read this book or can i not open this book and it will be so much easier trust me like this is the best advice you're ever going to get and i have not seen this on youtube nowhere people don't want to tell you the truth but you need to like your degree guys if you don't like it you will leave or you will fail or you will just do shakara there do you understand go to uni because you want a degree you want to do it you want to put in the work you want to have that accomplishment don't go for the life of uni don't go for the life of uni trust me it will not land you in a good place and something else i was going to finish with um what was it oh it just skips my mind but it was really important um anyway let's recap what we've talked about so we've talked about you know graduating during lockdown we've talked about um how to find the degree that suits you we've talked about how to plan out your dissertation we've talked about how to you know pick your degree and everything um and yeah if it comes back to me it comes back to me maybe i'll do another video on it but that's all i wanted to share with you guys like please like don't feel like oh if you go to uni right now you're wasting your time no you're not wasting your time you're actually doing something amazing for yourself and 10 years down the line you're going to be like whoa like i actually pushed myself to the point to be able to you know bring that accomplishment for myself and i worked that hard like during such a period like this trust me if you want it you will get it and it will be amazing for you trust me i'm telling you it will be so good but literally use grammarly guys it's so helpful and if there's any students that are going to uni right now that are you know or even people that had to repeat or anything i'm actually open like you can comment or you can just dm me privately i will link my instagram and everything down below i will send you a plan of how you can plan out your dissertation and it will save your trust me listen you need that plan i maybe i even need to sell it to people because i don't know how my mom came up with that but that thing helped me do you understand it changed the game before when i was doing it sometimes i wake up sometimes i don't want to wake up sometimes i'll just go for a walk come back be in the same predicament again but once you showed me that plan it just changed everything so shout out to my mum, mum, you are the best ever 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 i love you so much you really helped me um 
but yeah guys um thank you for watching make sure you subscribe and share this with someone going through a difficult time in uni i just want to motivate you before i go you've got this you can do this you will do this keep pushing yourself take time to cry take time to pray take time to have a snack and you'll be fine okay love you guys bye